My name is Rob Spence, and some people call me Iborg. Well, actually, I called me Iborg, but now everyone else does. He's a real-life bionic man. Okay. And that's a camera in his eye. You're looking at me right now, and, and walk me through what you're seeing and what we're seeing over here. Sure. Well, in here uh -huh. is a battery, a camera, and a transmitter, and it transmits the video to here. Okay. And this is a video source now. I can plug it into any recording device I like. And so you're not actually seeing with this eye that's a camera, you're not actually seeing any images, but it's picking them up right here and it's being recorded. Yeah. I don't want to attach this to my brain because right. it's, it's only 320 by 240. If I combine that 320 by 240 video with my binocular vision, it would wreck the good vision I still have out of one eye. Rob's story started, like many superhero origins, with an accident. I was messing around with a 12-gauge shotgun. I tried to shoot a pile of uh, cow crap, but I wasn't holding the gun properly. I had it, my eye right against the gun like a cowboy in the movies, and there was an accident. After many surgeries, Rob was told he'd have to lose his eye for good. But he didn't have your typical reaction. As soon as I heard I was going to lose the eye, I already started making plans to put a camera in there. So he worked with a team of engineers who created his new eye out of a camera used for medical surgeries. You know, there's often a silence when you call somebody up, when you cold call them and say, yeah, I'm trying to make a camera eye, and they think uh, you're screwing with them at first. But the great thing about engineers is they love science fiction and pop culture, and this is a very science fiction-y pop culture kind of thing to do. Weird, huh? Yeah, really weird. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? A documentary filmmaker, the subject of Rob's films, have turned more personal. Now filming your bionic hand with my bionic guy. From a controllable bionic arm to a runner with mechanical legs that may actually increase his speed, Rob believes he's seen the future. And it's a future where a missing limb is far from a handicap. Limbs, prosthetic limbs, will become superior to human limbs and eyes at some point in the near future. And it may not be far away. So what's the holdup? What engineers have told me is it's not, we have the processors and the wires and the motors and the batteries. The only thing missing now is enough imagination to put it all together and connect it directly to the brain. In New York, Lori Siegel, CNN Money.